join me as I travel deep into the heart of the Arctic in an expedition that will be nothing short of epic. The Inuit community of Coral Harbor is the starting point for a monumental hunt for the walrus. The journey alone is long and arduous as I travel deep into the Arctic to reach this remote yet incredible village. The walrus are located on a small island 60 miles from the village. For a hunt of this magnitude to come together, every element must be planned and executed flawlessly. The weather, especially the wind, plays a critical role in the success of this hunt. The island is home to a large population of walrus, but to find an old trophy bull takes a trained eye and a bit of good fortune. The walrus is an incredible species. Large bulls can weigh in excess of 2,000 pounds, making them one of the largest animals in all of North America. It's a unique and amazing animal, one that holds much value to the villages of this Inuit community. This hunt represents not only an incredible adventure, but a chance to bring much needed revenue and a source of protein to the local villages. Every ounce of this animal is put to good use by the community. This hunt will ensure the villages have oil to cook and food to eat through a long winter. This is yet another great example of responsible hunting as a critical tool of conservation. A Hunter's Quest once again invites you to join us on an epic and thrilling adventure into the heart of the Arctic in pursuit of one of the great game animals of North America, the walrus. Alright, the great walrus adventure in the Arctic is about to start. We are in the community of Coral Harbor. My two guides are rowing right now to go get the boat, which is in the harbor here. To start the adventure, we're going to load up. The wind has died down just a bit. I'm panning around to see the harbor here where the boats are docked. You will see the, uh, the two guides, Darcy and Tommy, heading to go get that. And uh, a very wind-dependent wind hunt. We're depending on the wind to, to be lower, to be able to go out. It was blowing this morning. It's mid-afternoon. The days are long. Uh, really, we have till 10, 11 o'clock at night to get back, if not later. Pretty much daylight almost 20, 22 hours of the day and we are about to start a journey of 60 miles to Walrus Island. There is supposedly the largest concentration of walruses in, in the area. Um, so uh, looking forward to uh, getting our adventure started and uh, making it happen. Bad weather coming in and that is going to limit the next couple of days of hunting, so a lot of uh, pressure on trying to get it done today. All right, so the great walrus adventure is about to begin. We have loaded the boat. We're at the dock here in Coral Bay. And we are on our way to Walrus Island, which is about two hours away. And uh, there should be a good concentration of walruses to uh, look at. And we have to uh, try and make this happen today. There's some bad weather coming in in the next couple of days. And we are very excited to get the adventure rolling. We were uh, planning on getting out this morning. Uh, the wind wouldn't allow us to uh, quite get out. But uh, it's calmed down here. It's about 11 o'clock local time. and that we are about to begin, so we will uh, get to Walrus Island and get some more footage moving forward. We are off. The boat is pushing off the harbor, and we are leaving the community of Coral Harbor to go get our walrus.
You guys ready? Yes. Are we gonna get this done? Yeah. Ricky, talk to me, buddy. Yeah. Excellent. As with all these hunts, a big chunk of the uh, experience is the journey to get there. The boys are figuring out the GPS situation right here. Setting the coordinates. All right, our first walrus sighting. in here and the time he's getting some great footage this is incredible walrus island baby we're just trying to find the right one We don't have Walrus size and Island to ourselves because uh, there's another hunter on the island with us uh, looking for a second Walrus, but we're finding some very good ones. Nothing exceptional yet. There is enough Walruses for us to, to get the job done and really take a, a very big old male, but we're looking for something that has exceptional tusks. And uh, it's quite, quite exciting to be here on the island checking them all out.
Congratulations. Thank you, sir. That is my walrus. And my man Tommy got it all on film. Unbelievable. This is an incredibly exciting hunt. People have no idea what a great stock. Finding a big one is difficult. We came to the right spot. Walrus Island got crowded and we found the big one. Congratulations, man. He's an old guy. So when I first decided I wanted to do this hunt, it was to complete all the huntable species of North America. I had a little ambivalence about shooting a walrus, to be very honest with you. Uh, a great, huge, majestic creature, but I didn't realize to get a really big, old male, the work that had to be done. And um, as with any great hunt, teamwork played a very big role uh, between uh, Darcy's patients, Tommy helping out with the camera and uh, a variety of other things, and Darren on the boat. We were able to really get the job done the way I wanted to. And we were in the right spot at the right time. And I think our patients had a lot to do with the success of shooting such a monster. I'm looking forward to having this uh, mounted in my trophy room with the polar bear. We're going to take some great measurements and um, mounts and now the real work begins of uh, getting this uh, onto the boat and back to Coral Hawk. All right, so we have one of the final species I need in North America, a great big walrus out here in the Arctic, Canada. Uh, the goal was to try and get a very big one. We accomplished that goal on Walrus Island. Uh, the more we looked at this guy, the smaller the other ones looked. Uh, it is almost 7 o'clock in the evening. I'd like to thank the team that was with me during this hunt. Uh, from Darcy, our lead guide, to uh, the second guide here, uh, Thomas, who's behind the camera and has done an amazing job. Uh, Darren, who joined us to work the boat. We are running out of time, even though we have quite a few hours left here um, in the uh, tonight with uh, daylight. But we want to get there's a lot of work to be done here. Uh, this is an exceptionally large animal, a lot of meat for the uh, Inuit community, and this hunt exceeded my greatest expectations on uh, what an amazing experience this is. It's going to be most likely the the only one time I have this experience, but I can tell you it's as memorable, if not more so, than most of the hunts I've done. I feel very privileged to be here in the Arctic doing this hunt on Walrus Island, and I look forward to uh, watching this uh, video for many years to come.